A very good morning friends. So in this video we are going to talk about the filtration. So when we talk about the filtration, the first question in our mind is come that we can do filtration as a method of the sterilization. We can use filtration as a method of sterilization. We are using filtration for our childhood. If you are making tea in the kitchen, you are also doing the filtration. In the lab you use the filter papers. So how can we use filtration as a mechanical method or as a purpose of the sterilization? Filtration generally based on the phenomena of the separation. Simply, it's filtration based sterilization is having the separation that separates the microorganisms and we get the sterilized solution. This technique or this method is having a lot of advantages about the dry heat, moist heat or the radiation. First of all, it is not causing any deterioration in the substance. Your substance remains as such because the filters we used use here, they are all inert. And the large volumes of the solutions can be filtered out by this filtration technique. Only solutions, one more important point is, in this there is only solutions are sterilized. So let's come to the point. It is a non-thermal method. As we know that it is a non-thermal method. The second point is it is used for the heat level solution. Heat level solutions I the mentioned in the word is the solution. That means we are talking about the gas or liquids. No solid substance can be sterilized by the filtration method. It is a mechanical method because the mechanism of action or the action by which we are having the sterilized substance is the uh, separation that is a mechanical method. So large volume parental generally you see the glucose bottle of the 500 ml saline solution now it leads to the large volume parental we talk about the what we talk about the purified water also we talk about the antibiotic solutions antibiotic solutions when come in our, in our mind there is an antibiotic that is using nowadays that is a norfloxacin it comes in a 500 ml just like the glucose bottle and the drip is used to inject this norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin these are the antibiotics that in the 500 ml capacity mainly used it is in the infectious infectious diseases or any of the infections just like the having of the intestine or the stomach or the enlarge of the enlargement of the liver spleen generally this drug is using nowadays norfloxacin that is in the 500 ml so it is also an example of the large volume parenters. Eye drop can be the examples that antibiotic solution, serums, carbohydrate solutions, mainly the dextrin solution. So these are the important ones. Another advantage of this, it is having the inert nature the filters used. So there is no deterioration of the substance we use. Another thing, some filters cause the rapid uh, filtration and some cause the take the time so we can use the filter on the base of our desire on the basis base of our size of the samples or size of the products so that depends on the another more thing that is having the become the advantage of this pore size we can choose the pore size as our desire that we have to filter the eye drops filter the large volume parenters or we are filtering the water for getting the pure water that is also an use the pure water is also get sterilized by the filtration method bacterial toxins why i mention is dpt there are three bacterial toxins in the market or in the medical line that is the diphtheria pertussis and the tetanus these three toxins are also sterilized by the filtration method. It is an important question for the ICMR and the GPET and the NIPER examination. Bacterial toxin and the sera, large volume parenters and hydro. So let's come to the type of first one more thing. Bacteriophage. What is bacteriophage? Generally the pharma solution confused between the uh, bacteriophage and the endospores. So bacteriophage is a virus that infects the bacteria. Generally, when we use filtration method, 
it also gets separated during the filter so it is an important point of the filtration next is a type of filter a bestose filter generally when we talk about the type of filters three main points first it is made up of it is pore size and its single use multiple use disposable not disposable these are the important points a bestose filter is also known as the sids filter it is made up of magnesium trisilicate it is an important point magnesium trisilicate it is a single use so we can use it in single time disposable this is the size generally size is not asked but i mention here size is asked is of the mechanical filter not of the abastos filter generally asked about the magnesium trisilicate sids filter single use or the disposable these are the important point you have to remember the magnesium trisilicate sids filter and single use i am not just mentioning here the other theory things because these are some points of the filters that are important so sintered glass filter when we talk about the sintered glass there is a term glass and you know that the beaker is made of the borosilicate glass so when we powdered the borosilicate glass and with the adhesion type molecules we make an filter adhesions are used borosilicate glass is powdered and it is powdered in the ball mill sometimes this question is also asked in the gpet examination is in the ball mill is used to make the borosil borosilicate glass as a fine powder adhesion is used there is grade of the filters grade 3 and grade 5 is used filter candles it is an important one brack fill its name is very much important brack fill and the ceramic filter it is an important filter candles is the brack fill ceramic candle and used for the purification of water it is an important points for the gpet you have to note down in the your notebook or in the notes that is used for puri uh, purification of water is the filter candles brack filled or the ceramic filter they are generally asked with the another's name not with the filter candle they are asked with the brack filled or the ceramic filter it is made up of porcelain and castle gear generally it is of porcelain sometime we use the castle gear next is the membrane filter this is the important one for where the 101% question is asked in the gpet examination or the niper examination it is also known as the millipore or the ultra filter even the smallest microorganism cannot pass this filter is having the size of the 0.01 to 10 micron when we talk about this it is a 0.01 to 5 micron so it is also the size can be reduced so the smallest microorganism is not able to pass it is made up of the cellulose and is cellul esters cellulose and cellulose esters millipore ultra filter is its synonyms names 0.01 you have to remember the pore size of the membrane filter now we talk about the filtration and the mechanical method in the series we are doing a thing we are getting the indicator the moist heat dry heat radiations in this the cerisia mercenius is the indicator that is used for the mechanical method filtration type it is the 0.45 uh, micrometer we are when we are using that size so the indicator is used is cerisia mercenius one more thing that is confused pseudomonas piecing is also used pseudomonas piecing is also used but it is used for the different pore size one more uh, important thing uh, in, in its advantage that it is used for the sterility test if you want to you uh, check that any of the material or the solution is sterilized or not you can check it with the filtration method so it is the sterility test also we performed by the filtration or the mechanical method this is the video about the filtration or the mechanical method i hope you like the video in the next video we are going to talk about the chemical type of sterilization